Hey Tube, Vinny M here and welcome to another video here on the channel. Today we are going to be reviewing some more World War II reenacting equipment. We're going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of two sets of M1936 suspenders from the same company. Both these sets are from atthefront.com, but they're different from each other because this bottom set right here is made overseas in China or Taiwan, I'm not sure which and imported, where this top setup here is made 100% in the United States of America in a factory in Kentucky. Because of that, the price differs quite substantially. We'll have a look on their website at what the cost is and how they are listed. So the imported Chinese, Taiwan, whatever, we're just gonna call it Chinese for the sake of simplicity. The imported Chinese set is listed as the M19 36 suspenders JQMD 1943 and they are $30. The American made set up here is listed as the M1936 suspenders made in the USA and they are $60. So the American made ones are twice the price of the Chinese made ones. $30 more. But are they worth it? And that's what we're here to find out. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that the American-made ones are available in different versions, where the Chinese ones are not. There is only one version of the Chinese-made suspenders from ATF, and you get what you get. With the American-made ones, there's a couple different ones. So there is a long version for taller people. There is a first pattern version as they call it which has a few differences in how they're made then there is the reinforced version which they have an extra piece of fabric on the shoulder strap you can see it running behind the buckle here and if you actually look at a set of these there's nothing that runs behind that buckle on a normal set so they have the reinforced ones as well and then they have the standard, which is the ones I have. So if you choose to buy the American made ones, you get a few different options in things like length and type of construction as far as, uh, you know, reinforced shoulders or what have you. So something to note. Now I'm going to try to make this video quick, but we're just going to go through the basics. We're going to look at the hardware, the stitching, uh, the thickness of the webbing, and that's pretty much it because that's pretty much all that's going to vary on these. So the Chinese ones are labeled as US JQMD 1943. The American made ones are labeled as Kirkman Manufacturing 1941. So for the rest of this video, I will call the Chinese ones JQMD and the American made ones Kirkman for the sake of simplicity. So if we look at the clips that attach this to your cartridge or pistol belt, we have the JQMD on the right and the Kirkman on the left, and that's also how it's going to be for the rest of the video. The JQMD is very shiny in color, and the steel spring piece is not in line with the center. You can line it up, but then when you press it again, it moves back over. On the American-made Kirkman, it has a matte powder coat looking finish, and the spring steel section in the middle is perfectly centered, and it's also harder to press than the JQMD. So definitely higher quality hardware on the Kirkman. Looking at the actual webbing that's used for the leads of the straps, the JQMD is kind of a greener color. It's more of a true OD3, whereas the Kirkman is more of a true khaki. But you don't really notice any difference in the 
pattern of the webbing. What I mean by that is this is not a denser pattern than this or vice versa. They're about the same density. However, when you feel them in your hand, they have about the same amount of flex to them and how they feel when you bend them. But this one, the Kirkman, feels much softer. It's a much softer cottony feel where this feels just kind of rough. It just feels rough. We'll grab matching ends here to look at the locking buckles on the end. So the back side of these have a buckle that you can center it and then it slides and then you can twist it like that and it locks it down. Both are held on by grommets. Again, we see that the finishes are different. We have a shiny spray paint like finish on the JQMD, which does chip off uh, much easier than the powder coat finish we're going to see over here on the Kirkman. Now, I don't know if there's really any difference in the quality of these two pieces of hardware, uh, but there's definitely a difference in the finish. Dimensionally, they look about the same. Now we'll look at some of the sewing on it and the center section of hardware. So right here where the straps that go down to the belt come into the shoulder strap, you have these big pieces of hardware. They have D-rings on them because that's where your musette bag attaches. We see pretty much the same thing. We see a shiny spray paint like finish on the Chinese JQMD and more of a matte finish on the American Kirkman, although this is still shinier than the other pieces of hardware on the Kirkman. You also notice the D-ring is smaller on the JQMD and larger on the Kirkman. And where the finish has rubbed off on the Kirkman, it looks to be brass underneath. They are both held in place with grommets that look about the same. Above that is a triangular reinforcement in the webbing going into the shoulder strap. And we see that they are about the same size, sewed in the same fashion, all the way around and then crossed in the middle. Then we get to the shoulder strap, and this is where you really start to see some major differences. If you look at this webbing and you look at this webbing, one is much more fine than the other. This is a much denser webbing than this. We have the same difference in the feel too that I mentioned earlier with the smaller sections where this feels very soft and this is very rigid feeling. Well, not necessarily rigid, but it's it feels uh, rough. It actually feels less strong on the JQMD than it does on the Kirkman, despite the fact the Kirkman's actually the softer one. And something I want you to notice is what happens when you squeeze them. The Kirkman pops back out flat, but the JQMD stays wadded up. This is an issue I've had with these suspenders and actually why I have both. I initially bought the JQMD suspenders and when I was wearing them, I would find like, man, my shoulder's hurting. Why are these suspenders digging in my shoulder? And then some guys like, well, your shoulder straps are like all wadded up and folded over. So it's causing a pressure point. And they literally looked like this, just wadded up laying on my shoulder. And that's what was causing the problem. So another guy in my unit was like, hey, go buy the American made ones from at the front. They don't do that. And that's why I have both sets to begin with. Uh, but it is so obvious when you mess with them. So that is the first major, major construction difference that you notice other than the finish that's on the metal components. Moving into where they cross in the back, you also notice a pretty substantial difference. On the JQMD ones, they used the same webbing as everywhere else and just folded it over and sewed it on there. On the American Made Kirkman, they actually used a completely different kind of webbing that's really, really soft 
and really, really thin. So my final thoughts are that the American-made ones are worth the extra price, although I'm not sure that I totally see twice the quality there. I definitely see a pretty vast quality improvement in the shoulder straps and the actual spring clips that go on the belt. Those are the two biggest differences. Everything else about them is fairly comparable. The quality of the other hardware is pretty comparable. Um, it's just the clips are much better on the American one. They don't do that thing where they slide over to the edge. They stay centered like they're supposed to. And the shoulder strap material is just better. And it's going to be even better than this if you buy the ones that say reinforced, if your unit allows that. Uh, because those are not uh, quite as correct for some units. But if you can, those would be even better in regards to the shoulders. I have shoulder pain. I'm a firefighter, EMT, uh, dislocated shoulder in training about four years ago. It never healed right. So to me, it's a big deal to have something on me that spreads the weight out correctly and is soft and comfortable versus something that feels kind of rough and wants to fold over and cause a pressure point. So for me, American Made is the way to go. But ultimately, the choice is yours between the two. I'm just here to provide the information so you can make an educated purchase decision. That's all I have for you guys. As always, like and subscribe and have a nice day.